This episode's FDR shoutout goes to xxgrav3yard underscore cat xx. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Yo, what up guys? It's your boy Chris. Welcome back to another fish tank review. Oh. Review. Hashi, let's go, man. It's time for fish tank review, bro. That's right. Let's get it. Curse is ready. Pachi is ready. Uh, let's get it. Get a load of this specimen. What is that? What, what is that? Goalie. I can't believe you've done this. That just looks sad, man. In the comments, someone was like, mom, get the towel. This is some kind of DIY canister filter. Help! Me! I mean, you already got a filter in the fish tank. Like, it's not even flat. Like, maybe two rulers or maybe just a wooden board. Nope, it's got to be two roly-poly sticks. I just noticed the water. You can see the water shooting out of the pipes. That's kind of amazing. There are some cool videos on YouTube showing how to make a DIY filter and stuff. That doesn't require you to balance your canister filter on two flimsy pieces of wood and fingers crossed every time you go to sleep that it, it looks the same when you wake up and not just a huge mess on the ground and everything's wet. But you got like two iridescent sharks in what looks to be a 10 gallon, not filled halfway, so like five gallons. Grammy and Tetris live in this, no words. Wow, the comeback, the Mountain Dew fish tank aquascape. Where have you been this whole time? I've missed you. This is a high quality, high concentrate Mountain Dew tank. You can tell from, from, <laughs> You can tell. Now there is actually like legit debate over whether this is unhealthy for the fish or not. And I am inclined to agree that it is beneficial to some degree to the fish because many fish, including Tetris, not so much Garami, but they still like kind of indirectly feed and depend off of algae. That's why a lot of people actually recommend green water like this for rearing young goldfish because then they're always going to be eating. They won't be hungry. Goldfish do not have a stomach, so they're very prone to being hungry. And when they're juveniles and when people want them to grow faster, they always want them to be fed or have something in their digestive tract. But a few things to worry about and look out for is that algae does create oxygen when it's healthy, alive, and when light is on. But once the light shuts off, it starts taking up oxygen just like any other plant. And also when you have this much algae and for some reason if they die off, that's going to take the nitrates and ammonia up a whole different level in that tank very fast, not to mention deplete oxygen. So you really have to watch out for this. Hey guys, this video is sponsored by you guys smashing the like button. Thank you so much. And if you would like to become a pillar of FFT and take your support to the next step, please consider supporting on Patreon. You get a lot of perks in return and it's a big difference for me. And even $2 can make a huge difference for this channel. Thank you. Pet score submission by Dave Diamante. Oh man, I don't think I'm looking at the full tank because I can't really see the borders, but from what I can gather, it's a pretty well planted, pretty established tank. I mean, you got some pretty big tiger barbs, which lets me know that this tank has been around for a while and these tiger barbs have been living in here for a while. Of course, you got some zebra daniels also up top, but with the amount of live plants in it and probably quite good filtration in here. I wouldn't say this is overstocked at all. It looks wild. It looks natural. 4.5 out of 5. Keep it up, Dave. Tis, tis, tis. 10 gallon tank, no cycling or acclimation, and worst of all, promotes false information about the animal. Uh-oh. Sounds like 99% of crappy aquariums or Facebook posts. You know axolotls are endangered, right? Hard to believe that they are constantly treated worse than this. New baby axolotl and aquarium. It's got the classic clickbait thumbnail. Now I scroll down to the comments and I did some investigation and it turned out biggest issue, the biggest grief with this is that the tank was not cycled. Axolotls need a cycle tank because they need even more pristine water conditions than fish. And then I got curious. I've never seen this channel before. I watched this video. It turns out that the axolotl they got was not even the same color as the one in the thumbnail. It was a dark or black axolotl. That's one of my pet peeves. Like you just photoshopped a random axolotl you found on Google images and you put it on your fish tank, but it doesn't match the one you actually got. It's actually like polar opposite of what you put on this thumbnail. So what's the problem with putting a black one as your thumbnail? And if you put a lighter colored axolotl for your thumbnail, why not just get a lighter colored axolotl in real life? I don't get it. You know, I get the grind. I'm also out here grinding, but if you do things properly, it'll be better for you in the long run. Cardinal Tetra. Hey dude, Dude, can I copy your homework? Neon Tetra, sure, but change it up a bit. <laughs> that's so funny, dude. That's that's legit what happened. That is actual, that is factual. Wow, you add an F in front of actual, it becomes factual. Holy crap, sacre bleu.
<laughs> this is a good meme. I like this meme. It's original too. I've never seen this one before. Has scored submission by Duletha Bandera. Ooh, got that Samsung triple camera action shot with Galaxy M21. I don't know what the M21 is, but I got the S10 and I love this thing, man. Recommended, link in description, you know what I'm saying? There's a powerhouse. I got this for like vlogging because it's good enough to make videos with. And it's lightweight, fits in my pocket, fits in my hand real well. It hasn't slowed down at all like other Samsungs in the past. It's blazing fast. The refresh rate on the screen is 120 Hz and it's just buttery smooth. Oh my goodness. I'm starting to sound like Mark Has Brownlee or maybe Dave 2D. Yo, if you don't know Dave 2D, by the way, he is a tech review channel that's that's really clean and really knows his stuff. But he also very recently started a planted tank. So that is very exciting. Man, I'm sorry, Duletha. I totally went off the rails. You got some juvenile discus with some dither fish like uh, black neon tetras and neon tetras or maybe cardinals here or there maybe a few embers very beautiful natural tank you got the live plants going the substrate looks clean this looks like a pretty big tank because you you can see you can tell that it goes pretty wide towards the back there's just something clean refreshing relaxing about this scape i'm digging it quite a lot five out of five keep up the good work and i thought the last one was bad what last one? Ooh, i don't know what last one you're talking about but this one is bad that's like nightmare fuel. I'm playing like a horror game or something, it feels like. Why is the backdrop so creepy? What is that lady doing, man? Not only do these fish have to experience this crappy conditions of a tiny, tiny fish tank probably getting burned by ammonia. I mean, the water literally looks yellow. That light doesn't look yellow, which means it's not the light. It's the water that looks yellow. Got a tiny sponge filter in there. Good for shrimp, maybe. Has course submission by Hannah. This is Crayola. They're betta fish. Very cute name, I like it. A centerpiece log running through the whole tank and you got a lot of plants planted throughout and you got this really interesting plant. I'm tempted to say that's parrot's feather. It is quite an invasive plant in the wild, but looks beautiful in the aquarium. If it's not parrot's feather, I'm sorry. Parrot's feather also grows really fast and sucks up all the excess nutrients, so very good idea there. It might be a little small for a betta fish, but you know, we've seen much worse. And also this is a solo betta fish tank. There's no other fish in here. 4 out of 5, keep it up. The bonus secret comment of this episode is Cardinal Tetra. I'm sorry, experimenting? What? Experimenting with these fish has been the highlight of my year. <laughs> Can't wait to see where it goes next. Hashtag rip to all the little guys who didn't make it in the name of research. Hashtag betas for bachelors. Hashtag fish, hashtag beta fish. What in the flippin' world? Just openly admitting to experimenting with beta fish? I'm sorry, beta fish? Ugh. It pains me, you know? Like, I have comments saying, Chris, you're not saying the name of the fish right. It is B-E-T-A. It's pronounced beta, which is actually beta fish. I strongly suggest that whoever thinks it's supposed to be beta, go look up the origins of the beta fish name. Ignorance is bliss, I guess. Very true for this guy as well. This guy is ignorant to the max. Can you just do your research? No other fish is more well documented on the internet than betta fish. So please just take at least five minutes, okay? Not asking for much. Five minutes of your time. Hopefully a little longer than that, but I mean, we can't ask too much for from an airhead like this. Beautiful skate, but that can't be big enough, right? I agree. It's very beautiful. And I do see a lot of these on Instagram, especially. Sometimes, most of the times they're stocked with shrimp and little nano fish and really that is a beautiful scape that is really amazing but the correct way to do this is get a bigger bowl there are five gallon to ten gallon bowls that'll be perfect for this but also please don't stock this kind of fish tank this size with dither fish like tetras especially dither fish that are not the super nano dither fish like galaxy rasboras or chili rasboras if you get a five gallon bowl or a 10 gallon bowl it would be perfect for a betta it would be perfect for guppies because in the wild guppies are commonly found in these uh tributaries that come off of waterfalls and there's ledges to that right and each ledge has kind of a small pool guppies in the wild love to jump from pool to pool. Five gallon or 10 gallon bowl can represent a natural pool. They're not super like dithery fish. They don't need to dash. They don't need to shoal. They like to look around, right? It'd be perfect for a bowl like this. But to put tetras in here, which are massively shoaling and schooling fish, and their natural habitat is literally just open waters in a lake or like a river basin. And to put them in such a small fish tank, I feel like it's 
It's just not doing anything good here. When your other fish friend is flexing on you with his silk plants and you're sitting there next to your heavily planted Dutch style tank with rare shrimp and beautiful plants. Weird flex, but okay. That is a very weird flex. How could you even compare? I don't, I can get how the live plant guy would kind of flex on the silk plants guy, but vice versa? What is, that is a weird ass flex. Not gonna lie. Lamal never happens to me because I have no friends that are interested in fish in real life. Same, I feel so lonely. Pet score submission by Jonas Kruopatis. Pretty clean rimless with a good light shining down on those nice healthy plants. The hardscape here, they're using some interesting little pieces of rock and it's, it's working out. I am digging it. Look at this, it's a shrimp tank and they're so cute, so beautiful. A little cherry shrimp uh, of mixed grays, I think, here. A little moss ball action going on. The substrate here is also pretty attractive as well. It's like these round little sort of flat pebbles. 4.3 out of 5. Cute scape, dude. Keep it up. Pet score submission by Ruben Daly. It is a, I think it's a bioactive terrarium for their crested gecko called Norbert. Norbert looks like it has a lovely home. Many different varieties of live plants here. Probably all of which I can't keep alive. The only thing I have alive left in my bioactive terrarium is the Dracaena. That's kind of sad. So I put back some artificial plants, a lot of artificial plants and roots and stuff because I feel like if I can't keep the plants alive, I can't keep enough plants. Uh, I still need to provide cover for Rapashi here, right? It looks like Norbert here is waiting for their food on that coconut husk. Doing a good job, Ruben, keep it up. Looks like Norbert is healthy, even got his or her tail still attached. Good stuff. Found this on an online shopping website review and they wonder why their puffer died on day two. Oh my gosh. Why would you even wonder why your puffer died? There's too many things to tell which one of the reasons is the, the reason that did your puffer in. That does not look like a pea puffer. Most puffers that are that kind of size, they require brackish conditions. Just littering the top with food, uneaten food, not even bothering to scrape it out. How would your puffer fish not die on day two? That's a better question. When you remember that YouTube is on your TV and that you can watch FFT. Aw hell. Oh yeah. That is actually pretty trippy to me because just imagining people watching this show on their television. I mean, television is where I grew up watching SpongeBob and bad Christmas movies. I never imagined myself being on that TV, but now with smart TV, anything is possible, I guess. You can be a TV star as well. I don't know. Guys, welcome back to the end of the video. Rapashi and I hope that this fish tank review episode has made your Monday just a little better, started your week just right. Thank you for staying all the way till the end and of the video club for pushing that algorithm. The secret comment of this episode is Neon Tetra. Look for the bonus secret comment somewhere else in this video. If you enjoyed, show some love, smash that like button, and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come, and don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin dot, acclimate that. With my shoal at, cure my fin rot from Carisiformes to Paratra Road on. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Live fam says, I finna one, I finna gone. Three days without fur, I'm an addict. Like fanatic, I'm a baddest. No tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black Tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.